and I, I, I honestly, I'm gonna be honest. I think it's because of the gauntlet. Like, oh my God, look at that beautiful, beautiful gauntlet move right there. Gravity cancels the D-Light. Sayer, Sandstorm, get it off early. Yeah, but ooh, that's a crisp bow. I'll be honest, I don't know. I think I think the reason Zario's picked so much now is because of his SIG. His SIG kit, I have to admit, is nice. It's pretty nice. I said, I just, I don't see myself picking up that bow, but that Scythe, that's my go-to. That's my baby right there. Mirage, Mordex, Nick, some of the greatest legends in the game. But like you said, that, that Scythe has a problem with really finishing off. Sheesh. If you're not reading hours on end, literally against, against the best in Brawlhalla. I don't know how they do it, and I know it wasn't easy. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of stamina required to be able to burn through. I mean, speaking of stamina, we're watching Sandstorm try to climb his way back to this game. That unarmed, wow, what just went for the immediate unarmed down air to instant gravity cancel side light to push Sandstorm even further away, knowing he was going to jump out of hit stun because he didn't have any other options. And then Sandstorm's going to send them right back. back? He's going. Now look, if Balloon Boy brings this back on well, not only PR uh -oh, number he one, might. but the Brawl Hall of he he's really cut different. That was crazy. He almost got that ground pound off. Oh my God. Oh, does Sandstorm choke here? One end light, Sandstorm wins. Oh! Oh, oh. oh man, Sandstorm is on the end of his rope here. Balloon Boy needs one more hit. The weapon throw might be enough. I don't think Sandstorm can get here. One jump and a side air. He is. Balloon Boy doesn't commit, but I mean, at this point, if he, how do you win it for Sandstorm here, right? The, the answer is, I think you don't. I, I don't think you can bring it back here. D-Light Recovery is going to go ahead and seal the deal. A 3-2 in a handshake. The thing I love about Orion is, although I don't like his weapon set, because I just, I'm not a Lance guy. I've never touched Lance. I vow to never touch Lance. Um, he has great seeds. He has some of the best seeds in the game. Oh my God, great round pound by Wrench to get the win. Make Forgive me, chat. Oh wait, you just talking about uh, the down sig on on site? Oh, is that it? Is that what it is? Where he uh, yeah, uh, the, with the portal? It's not the portal. Yeah, yeah he pops. Yeah. yeah, he did it off side stage and it went on the stage. Like I don't think I've ever seen that pulled off like that. If he would have got that off, probably would have did it back. Not my seat. Oh, let him go, dude. This. Rough. Somebody said, somebody in chat said Lance is, uh, no, delete Lance. Lance is the second worst weapon. What's the first worst weapon? With that, because I think Sword is easily one of the strongest weapons in the game right now, and it got buffed recently. The range on that D-Light is even bigger to match the animation better, and that, honestly, it didn't need it. it oh my god, he just got stopped right there. Yeah, he can't make it back, oh and that's a, Corey, that's a high speed legend. Like, you would think maybe can he clutch it out? Can he force a game five? Yeah, I'll be honest. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if Stingray was able to come back and win this stock only because he has two very good and reliable weapons right now. Sword and Spear are probably some of the best weapons to have in your hand right now. <gasps> oh, and it doesn't KO though. And he gets off the unarmed Sayer. GG. And goes to SIB here as well and you know they got almost like the respective colors of their organizations as well you have shade rec rocking out the blue you have race rocking that reddish you know what they're known for with that character with that battle pass uh skin Ooh. but oh shit. with the gc side signature out the side using those grappling moves so well so far no utility of those platforms the map change not really doing too much so far shade just running away with his fast stop Thing up, Radius doesn't touch the oh! wall. He's gonna punish accordingly now, holding the stage control. Shade looking to get back, gets hit by the bounce of the down air. Radish really slowing things down. Okay, solid side air misses that there option. That side oh, not again. comes in again. It's gonna come in again, unless Shade just Shade not again, away. dude. Oh. Oh, he wanted to go ahead and get you're seeing shade just trying to go ahead and get this knockout option with that scythe and you're seeing radish really doing a lot better with this overall platform troll but as i say that goes off ledge gets a little bit risky but radish still lands that side here winning that set three and oh over uh shade there cool. uh, just one good cider one good recovery is all bunny needs and there it is nice three oh over impala mm -hmm. I mean, it could be quite difficult for gauntlet just because the angles that katars can cover but i mean balloon boy showing no fear going in might need to show some but actually catches the down air wrench could be in trouble here blue boy no punish on that return to the oh! wall with the gc sidelight wrench is done i'm a little bit a little bit back and forth with that 
Yeah, I mean, that is the weapon he has picked up in the opening here, but I wouldn't surprise if we see him sort of get rid of the scythe for the sake of going for the Katars. Balloon Boy just has the soul read oh! on wrench. There is nothing he can do. Wrench just not going... throwing out moves. Well, wrench is trying to throw out the signature to catch Balloon Boy off guard. Oh. There's one. Oh, but he went a little bit too far down there. And it's He's on the way back. What? I definitely agree though. I think Wrench has been able to adapt a little bit compared to the previous games where that weapon throw comes in. Blue Boy, and you brought this up earlier, is going in for some crazy oh, <laughs> combo knockouts. He's fleed. Wrench is holding this advantage very, very well. Yeah, Wrench is just sort of playing the spacing game right here, just trying to play around every oh. threat. But... Dude, what are these ground pounds that this game is having? Like, what are we doing? What are, what are we doing? <laughs> Okay, love it back and forth. Nice neutral air. Oh, yeah. oh. looking to close oh. it out. The side air goes through, and that's going to be enough. Balloon Boy moving on into the winner's side, or winner's finals. All right, now we're seeing Rays have this under control. Bunny is kind of having to stick in the air a bit, which they do well at, don't get me wrong, but it's allowing for Rays to have this neutral Ooh. control to come back. The weapon tonight! It's side air option on the bunny. You know, you're seeing bunny in that low second stock, but you know, we see, we're seeing Radish really level up with these combos. Is that we don't have that orb gameplay coming in from Radish. Bunny's goal is going to be to try to keep Radish on those battle boots as much as they oh, can. No. But oh, Radish's no. battle boots, nevertheless, are coming in clutch double. Neutral Light is doing some damage to Bunny. And Sig. Oh, coming in with the neutral signature in Radish goes ahead and wins this set. Had the more momentum going against Stingray with those battle boots. Ultimately decides to go in with those gauntlets to really approach that spear. Gets that two piece, gets this jump side air as well. Now having Stingray off that ledge, gets it down like nice. in the side air. Stingray gets knocked out of that first stock. Stingray, once again, can you looking for this KO here? Can you looking for that side air? Most likely in Sandstorm knows it. He's playing around it, finding the options. Damage equalizing again as Sandstorm. Boys to turn things around oh! again. The D-Light side air Stingray clinging to life and the weapon throw once again, Sandstorm. It's, it feels like the second is final stocks. Net and net. Oh. Everything that's happened so far does not matter. It's all down to this last stock and Stingray opening up with the juggles here with this spear net. Oh my net. gosh. Sandstorm needs to do it again. He needs to steal it away, but the boots finds one opening but can't continue the pressure. Oh, oh. Oh, he didn't get the, he didn't go for the knockout option. Picks up the lane. DC, DC. Let's see. Okay, a little bit back and forth there. Neutral air from Stingray coming in clutch. Like oh, 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 just over spear. the edge. Picks up spear again. This might be an opportunity for Stingray to get the neutral control again with neutral airs. Oh, I respect the attempt there with that DC, but now Stingray has the stage control. Sandstorm, uh, just to make it back up, finds a neutral light. Gonna apply the pressure here. D-Light into the side oh! air, just jabbing out the side, and Sandstorm clinching it right at the end. Here, but we've seen what these boots can do. Okay. That spot dodge catch again with that net. Oh, with the oh! read! Oh! Involving that two piece into something that he needs. He needs to control neutral in the air. Silent Dalek oh. in the side. This might be, but Sandstorm with no weapon picks up the battle boots. Stingray gives him that opportunity like to get that. the three piece. It the weapon's be tossed it. away. Forces it is him down. Up into the gauntlets. Push for the D Sig. He's going for risky options because he knows the pressure that Stingray is going to be feeling. Is crazy. The juicy and light lands though too, so you're you're not crazy. Oh oh, there he goes. Silent comes in. Derek yeah, comes in instead. Okay. Catches the recovery. That's gonna be enough. Right Wait, down to the wire. Finally gets hit by one two oh. siders. Yeah, looking to close up the stock, but still the value marking is golden is pretty noticeable here. Okay. Oh. Ground pound as well. Oh. Kind of bad bit. But uh, Marky actually getting it scrapped with the unarmed for a second now. The sword coming against the SM to favor the sword. Finds the DC that move has so much force and does so much damage. Now, get back up. One hit though, and PL all of a sudden taking a big lead. D, D Light into the GC wow. side stick. 
that used to right back down to the wire mark he moved with some hands Yeah, we're kind of seeing Marky Moo kind of pop off with these gauntlets there. But Pierre has brought it back so much, but not enough because Marky Moo comes in with the GT down like jump ground back. We're not seeing any fear in his gameplay. Like he's feeling pressured because he just comes in, goes in with that save that gets a neutral air and taunts again. Marky Moo for the first time really actually playing from behind here against Pierre. Yeah, starving out that weapon, forcing Marky back to be unarmed. The dodge catch is dangerous, and Marky needs to grab a weapon. Gets caught with an air as well. Pierre applying this pressure gets the down air, and Marky's just done. Oh, he got three. Oh. Okay. Wantless gaming coming in just a bit. Actually had the right read on that down dodge, but messes up for punish. Catches on neutral now, though. Pierre could be in oh. trouble. Those are his options. Oh, gone. Marky Moo turning it right around. Hunting. He realized Pierre was feeling too comfortable and maximized on it. And now you see Marky Moo coming oh, in, launching Pierre into the orange. And Pierre into the orangey red. Side of the Nukes of Blade and it's sided by Marky Moo. The weapons are oh, It's going absolutely oh, down, down heavy. Coming in. With that down signature. To Apocalypse here. Just kind of see how this neutral uh, fight is going to break off as these players kind of feel each other out here, trying to figure out what game plan they're going to be bringing. Sandstorm going to work into that edge guard here immediately and send him Bunny all the way out, finishing up with that side string. Ooh, and they tried to go out there for another little quick attack. And still, okay, wow, yeah, Washford's repeat. Is that going to be enough to take Bunny out here in that first stock? Not quite yet. This might be enough. The weapon toss just barely going to miss. And not gonna have the resources to find their way back. Yeah, see how it works out. I mean, Bunny's definitely starting to make some noise here, but man, that is definitely a bit into the red. Trying to find her way back on stage, and it is a gauntlet fight. These two are gonna be throwing down for this last stock, that's for sure. Oh, not for too much longer, my bad. Oh. Man, she could have got it off that though. It definitely would have made the highlight reel for sure. Oh, 100%. Oh, trying to get up, try to catch the landing with the uh, side light. Nothing to be found there. Sandstorm, great movement up the side of the map. Finishing off with a firming the stock. Swapping back right over to Scythe, and we're going to go right back into neutral. Oh, no. Sandstorm's getting a hold of her. <laughs> and we were in neutral for very oh, no. long. What happened? Catch the landing that time. Going to hold back. Side light. Sare is not wow. going to be enough to confirm. I mean, I know Apocalypse is a pretty wide map, but man. Gives Sandstorm another opportunity to close out the stock. It's just back and forth here. She's unarmed as well. Oh, Ooh. that was you. He caught his scythe back though. Now we got a scythe battle. We haven't seen the scythe come out for her basically all game. Oh, what's the play here? He gets to call this a weapon toss. Not gonna connect. What? Oh God, hey. Salmo, this is this is terrifying. I know, I know. Uh, that's why I'm not talking. I don't. We we. I don't want to curse anybody here. This is anybody's game, but it's going to sandstorm. We're gonna have wrenched. Threading the needle with these guitars so far and racking up some really good damage early in the game one. That was just like <laughs> the sick coming out basically immediately connecting was just really <laughs> There's another one and these six are crazy man <laughs> Especially with it in Demon Island is the uh, the backdrop and the setting for it. Oh, yeah, Marky yeah, yeah. though, making some plays off stage here, finishing up with a ground pound. Is that going to do it? No. Wrench got his jump back, able to come back Ooh. up, touch the stage, Ooh. but Marky Moo's not done yet. Big ground pound going to finish it off and finally give that, uh, give that, uh, not finally, but give that, we're going to push through it. I mean, your head's probably getting scrambled the same way as Loki's was right there. Just constant pummels, Ooh. man. That was, that was just rough. I was making the what craziest was that hitbox, thing bro? Face. I don't know, man. It, there's just a bunch of silly stuff happening in this. And probably could have been cleaned up a little bit better. Uh, there's probably some aspects that Wrench could have done a little bit better just throughout the entire game in general. But for the most part, it was down to the wire, I feel like. Yeah, very, very close. Uh, very close between these two players. Oh, setting up for the gravity cancel. That Marky move is just getting so much more out of it. So uh, right now, Wrench looking pretty good. Maybe it's just, you know, has a, a new bit of energy coming through here. Looking pretty good on this edge guard so far. Oh, no. uh -oh. Uh -oh, oh, that's a mistake. Never mind. Excuse me, my bad. We were talking about commentators. I won't lie. Put this damage on. Yeah. <laughs> See, he, he whiffed with the side light and was still able to pull out the neutral light and catch a wrench twice. Okay, we toss out the guitars and here we go. Oh, he uh -oh. went for it. He went for it. Oh my God, it worked. Just let him get gauntlets here and we've seen what these gauntlets can do. You know, Qatar's in hand, like that's still not a bad spot to be in, but this could be your final stock here. No! Actually, oh, wait. just a little bit, just tries for a runoff. Um, no weapon throw. Oh, and he, is he gonna finish another game with a breakdance, bro? 
Okay, no. Wrench able to get back over to the edge of stage, but Dare is going to end Wrench's run right here or right now. He doesn't pull that out to the end of the game, and he always tries to find that neutral stick for the knockout. He's done it yeah. all three games. It's whipped all three times, but that tried and true bread and butter is going to get it done again. Backing up, try to uh, try to throw a nair out. Could not get it. Sandstorm. Oh! I mean, he was going to pull that recovery out. Oh, Ooh, oh, I like that cheeky option for sure. Oh no! Oh no! Oh. No, 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 no! Yeah, you hate to see it. But oh, Mark new, getting caught on the right side. No opener, whiffing on the neutral light. Okay. Taking an early lead here. If he can continue to capitalize on this, and that is going to be a good opening oh. stop for Marky Moo. Yes, um, definitely has mastered the movement after all of uh, um, his, ex well, both these guys with the experience they have in Brahalla. Okay, D-Light gonna catch Sandstorm and no further, pro okay, Marky Mood does go off the stage and a huge punish from Sandstorm finishing up with a ground pound and um, a lot of damage on his final in the process if he's gonna be able to play almost a, a perfect stock here to be able to uh, knock a Marky Mood off. And I mean, it's it's not looking terrible, but it's certainly not looking good. As you can see right there, clean that up. I thought for a sec, so. Oh, we're seeing a Sandstorm get some offense on his side now. Ooh, comes oh. off with the D-Light. Marky Moo trying to throw up all the anti-airs, but gonna finish it off right there. And oh my goodness, all against Sandstorm right now. Not being greedy. Okay, getting caught in that signature. It's not gonna be enough to confirm. Is he going to find a route to get back up on stage? So far, so good. There we go. Some more damage on the stock for Mark. Why are you? No, 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 no. Mark, you move with the three stock on a sandstorm. Oh. A lot of whiffs going on here, though. I don't know oh, if it's nice the nerves coming out. I mean, like, like I said, he's definitely got a whole, a different, um, whole different play style to adjust to here. Oh, but nice, nice stock against Sandstorm and Marky Moo. Literally lasted, oh my, bro. <laughs> the step back was wild and he almost caught the punish. Sandstorm is going to finish up with a recovery there. Um, he's got to play a perfect stock here and get Marky Moo out of here. How clutch is he? Victory. <laughs> Two, one, that, was, that was a call out. Jeez, that was sick. It that was, was definitely a great call out, great option from Bloom Boy. And now he's going to continue here with this momentum, staying underneath the ground pound from Marky Moo, catching a ground pound of his own weapon throw to the top of the head. Marky Moo stock's gone. Okay. Now, put down some solid damage here. Doing a really good job just kind of keeping him out from center stage. But however, Marky Moo. Back out. Ooh, I like that. That was really clean. Own through the weapon way high. Bloom Boy able to go ahead and dodge through there and still get back up on stage without burning out his options. Catching the landing from Marky Moo. Nice stare to the top of the dome piece. Going down with the ground pound. Marky Moo gonna have a hard time getting back from a double ground pound off the bow, and that's for sure. Bloom Boy has. Oh man, if he could have got that though. Oh wait, Marky Moo. Going crazy on the scythe here. We see the reversal with the Sayer off the bow. He went for the dare. Marky Moo was able to punish it. Side sig back over on stage with that. No, no, he doesn't have it. Double ground pound unarmed for Marky Moo. Put him on the board. We are at 1-1. One, one. That we promise you, but. I'm cranky. <laughs> I'm cranky. I'm, I'm, I'm angry now. These guys are taking way too long. Back in my day. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> back in my day, Brahalla games lasted a minute. Yeah, Boom, see, boy. there we go. Right, Marky Moo. Oh, reach up with the nair, can't get it. Recovery is gonna find a home. Bloom Boy continuing to dance out there. Marky Moo getting that good position off the landing. Gonna catch him again with another recovery. Bloom Boy is in big trouble here. Oh, he oh, did it but again! Is he? But is he? <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Definitely answering right back. Um, and continuing to push that momentum against Bloom Boy, but the reversals have been crazy. We've seen this mission before. Bloom Boy went for it again. Marky Moose said no. Definitely not for a third time here. That was that was so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we're talking about we're talking about that still and Marky Moose. I don't know, I feel like you could have picked up a weapon and you probably could have got some more damage out of there. I'm, I'm not entirely sure what the play was, but you know what? Hey, you got it. I mean, he's definitely holding on to that lead, so 
We won't judge him too harshly here. I will, he boy. loses. Oh my goodness, wait, oh, he is too. Wait a second, big momentum off the neutral sig. Bloom Boy gonna go out and try and finish this. He does with the Haymaker, that's it. Player two wins. Ah, uh, go ahead, get it out, Skiff. Get it all, get you it know, all out. I don't know how much of a difference picking up a weapon there would have really made in the game, but oh, we see Bloom Boy get back to stage, gauntlets in hand. Be looking to try and take out this final stack here. Doesn't want to lose the la uh, second one if they don't need to. So I'm still surviving. Wow. Yeah, holding on to it oh! for sure. And ground you pound. Gold ground pound. Gauntlet is doing like all the work you need. You may as well stick with that. Yeah, absolutely. You don't want to. You don't, don't want to show your entire hand before you have to. If the gauntlets are going to continue to work, but he does have that bow in hand. He caught a nasty ground pound from Raidus. Raidus throws down the the down sig. The two of them right now. Again, one a piece here, uh, just to kind of reiterate. You know what is at stake here? Uh, this is a grand finals, right? We have not gotten a reset yet, which means that Balloon Boy will need to win six matches total against Raidus. Ooh, and that's a rough start here in this game three. Okay, there we go. Sarah put him off the stage. And yeah, right now, Raiders again, still doing a good job controlling his pace. And that's like the, been the past two games too, are these super hot starts. Oh, uh, just great offensive power. Big dare. And then Big, Looking a little dire, especially how these last couple of games have gone. But I think this Diana might be a new breath of life. And he seems to have no problem letting Raiders slow this down. Mm -hmm. There it is. That's there it huge. is. That's the first stock. That's work earlier today in the top six. And it can be a, a blessing sometimes, but it's just a matter of just getting it done here. Man, Raidus is definitely doing a crazy job putting in some good work with this orb. Oh, this might be big trouble for Bloom Boy here. Oh, yeah, he doesn't have any option. That's it. That's it. That certainly will be it. And Raidus is going to be your champion for the trial of, what is it, Leve? <laughs> Leve? Leve. Lave. Lave. For this one's trial of Brahala. <laughs> Looking good for Bamia so far, as Gotli just seemingly is so comfortable right now, just sight light nearing, end lighting, and the occasional down light for the anti air. This man is just on the ground chilling and letting Bamia come to him and then getting damaged. But now Bamia making a bit of a comeback here. Oh. Yeah, very great. Ground pound there. You do, that spacing wise is something you can do only on some weapons where the the ground pound will still have it hit, its hitbox covering the wall basically. But you yourself, your entire body is still on the stage. And right as I talk about that, Godly, just what just happened, Keg? I'm able to get out of that corner right now. Godly playing a beautiful game here right now, trying to keep Bamia in those disadvantaged states. But Bamia trying to get that downer to connect, he wasn't able to do so. Now Godly on the edge guard, Bamia does manage to get back onto the wall, does get around it. No, the side, like the next, the side arrow, that will do it. Jandra, this is when he's going all in. And usually when the Donatello doesn't work, he switches back to the default, so we might be seeing that later as well. But, uh... He's, he's going on because he knows that he's 50-50 with Fizzara. I, I had a few words with Shadra before the wow. tournament, and oh, wow, that's looking strong for him. The out of the blast zone. It works a yes, little sir. bit. It's been somewhat inconsistent, but this is a high-risk, high-reward mm. strike. Coming out from his shot. Oh, the dare missed. Not make that twice over. There it is, another one. Good. Ooh. The double ground pound didn't connect, <gasps> but there's oh no recovery. God. High risk, high reward. It pays off huge for Shadra. Follow up. The spear's back out, cancels out the signature, ground pound doesn't connect, there it is. Off stage play. Doesn't connect either. Oh. It's down to this. One simple hit could determine whether or not we go to it. Oh my god! Properties by working signatures around the ledges of the stage. See, but you also have a lot that can Ooh, yeah. send Skeldra into the air. A lot of verticality. Sir, and... I'm thinking, uh, Rain is playing. Oh, Inter uh, interviewed him once. Like, what do you think is the best uh, way to play against Skeldra? Because I, I had to get the pleasure of casting the Brawl Bay land, but in Hamburg one time, where Skeldra and Wave God actually went up against each other in grand finals. Uh, and Wave God said, on Sword, the best thing you can do is know when you get wake ups, when, when you can do wake ups and zone out the moves, like time out the moves. That you're not in like a pattern, right? You're not readable or downloadable yeah. as you were before. And that's been a big struggle for Skeldra up until this point. 
It definitely has been, but wow! <laughs> They've played that character ever since Horrible was made, right? Oh yeah. We're looking at the big 1, 2, 3 for Rain. 123 times has he played as Val in a tournament. It's showing. It's been recorded, and wow. I mean, talk about it. Like, Jay, uh, Jay Young for Skeldra, on the other hand, 54 times has played some other characters. The 1, 2, 3 is just showing for him, and as the, you can see it. Wow. <laughs> wants to rack up that damage, and really just the objective is to overwhelm you, both physically and mentally in your own head. But Moonier can stop all of that in an instant Ooh. with a fast hammer, exactly like so. Into the taunt. Yeah. You know, Moonier might have to lock in now as XJ is fully locked in, and uh, I, I do love seeing that pop up. So when, um, when I think of XJ, I always think of uh, him and comparing. Sir, but now you have the the, the gauntlet the uh, guitar matchup, and you know one guitar stick control that's very hard to get out of. But uh, I've, I've discussed this with a lot of uh, <laughs> players over time, and gauntlet's tech. Jake can play his cards right perfectly here and avoid another recovery that high up. We could see the opposite happen, but it takes one more. Oh, maybe, maybe. Oh, maybe <laughs> the guitars are coming out. He's. Uh... Connecting some hits now. Moon is still looking for that recovery. He's pushing for a lot of side lights. Now switch over to the oh. spear and the side slick will do it. Side caught him with it. Gonna take him off stage. Pressure gonna back off. Looking for a good edge guard. Neutral sig up in the wrong direction. Stomp Sayer gonna confirm. No. Oh, he went the wrong way. And then the break dance for the end of the stock. That's the into position fast enough for the unarmed block. Onto the axe now as well. Range is completely weapon starved, not letting that affect him. Godly uh, gonna be looking for Stomp Sayer here though, and yep, there it is. <laughs> Ever since the Spring Royale, he has just been cooking. I mean, number two in the entire continent of Europe for a very good reason, but Shadra looking to bring him down from two to one stocks and does so you to get away with something like that, says he. Says he, <laughs> he did say, he did say, we heard him. I, oh, we nice Sarah weapon right throw now. Out. And Munir! Yeah. No! <laughs> Back right. to the stage. Shadra, a lot the worse for wear, though. Already starting to peek up towards that red damage. Ooh, sit him back. Got the got the active input he wanted off that uh, off of that scythe, but could not follow it up. Uh, oh, oh no! Sweat beating, but is able to get the wall touch. As soon as he gets back on stage, though, it's immediately boots to chin for him. <laughs> boots to chin. That's right. Uh -oh. Anyway, but not enough off of that recovery. That one, though, uh -oh. is going to get the job done. Give it to Munir. I'm just cooking here. Maybe, I mean, maybe, maybe he knew the tech all along. Maybe, maybe, maybe lots of tech was the way to go. <laughs> oh, what are we? <laughs> I say that Akno might be able to do just that. Just continuously catching Bamiya on his aggressive movement. Try to pop him up. Does so successfully oh. here into the recovery, and that's a stock gone. In any nice. case, though, look at how the damage has evened up slow motion. They are perfectly neck and neck. And yeah. right now, the big difference separating the two of them, I was going to say, is that Akko is on arm, but he picks up the gauntlet straight into his signature and straight into a set victory. Battles back in here, Sayer coming out. Ooh, a Sayer from Pezuaru. Oh, this could be big trouble from XJ. Cool J stays out of the way. What a dare. Can he finish it? And he does Ooh, yeah. with the break dance. Uh, GC stomp there too. A lot of damage in uh, a, not a lot of time coming through from Fezuar. XJ Cool J starting to get to the, the point in his health where Stomp Sarah is going to be a huge threat off the side, but going to be able to connect it into a recovery, D-Light recovery, the sword classic. Trying to get redemption against the person to put him down on the elimination side. There's a lot riding on this set for both these players. Shadra also has cooled down a little bit, has been a quite a while since they've played their last set since they went. Akno burns so many resources, but it's the right decision. Goes high, wall sweat beating, gets past Shadra, who tries to cover low. Now Shadra onto the spear, pops it up. No, instead pops right back for the site. Scary situation as Akno ooh, goes low Wait a to avoid the weapon. Oh goodness! <laughs> Land on the wrong foot, but maybe that wrong foot landing never comes. Shadra immediately brings us to even in terms of damage. He's playing so carefully. 
Okay, you have to at this point. All tied up. Akno's done on this stock. Here, and I think Akno needs to take advantage of it. Shadra might not yes, let him, though. It. Oh, wait. He might uh -oh. get a nice little uh -oh. gimp right here. Oh, my goodness. What a clutch recovery. Oh, wait, no. He's alive. No. He's going no. For more. no. That's it. Shadra's That's gone. It. He doesn't come back. These, uh, uh, to these side strings and rack up some serious damage real quick and not let Akno continue to do this. Well, Akno looking for the SIG there. Ninja Star Shuriken does not oh. connect the second time around. It does, though. Very nearly connects it into much more what? looking for that Goblin side SIG. Misses out. Akno trying to put him on a poster on a milk carton because he's missing all of his confirms. They haven't done milk cartons since, like, the 90s last. It was a, it was, let me have my segues, man. Okay, okay, okay. That's the set. You ruined it. It's over. <laughs> Great stuff to Akno. Yeah, and you called it out perfectly, right? The positioning immediately went into that exact macro that you talked about, Polly. So very well said. But as you say it, Rain gets to go to work. Now there's the GC Okay. Yes. I don't think he has anything. It's not enough. Oh, yes, I, yes, I dodge, but it's not enough. The GC, the lights there. Full on commitment off to the games, and at, at any moment, if he's able to pick up on something, he's able to make an adaption to get that extra one percent that he needs. Then uh, you know this is the, he he might be able to shut him down. But as I say, so I mean, rain is just yo. It, Polly, rain is just doing rain I'm, things. I mean, eighteen seconds I don't know, into man. the game, <laughs> damage. It's gonna start hurting eventually. This is final stock right here on elimination side for XJ Cool J. The weapon toss will come through. Rain not biting, but you gotta find this edge guard. No. There it is, the unarmed. The fourth game, uh, still uh, still the same map, and uh, yeah, I have no idea what's gonna happen. Yeah, I think such a huge difference maker was uh, the Katars for XJ, right? I want to look at some of the. Uh, damage spread that we were able to get from that as first strike does come through when those gauntlets come through but rain opts for the sword instead this is where the action gets started oh and he gets the space Ooh. started and he gets the follow-up as well whenever rain tries to go on stage but was this rain is able to get him off stage again gc oh, sidelines no! and xc has no options it was so close but that's going to be it they're able to catch the landing how did he get around and that their movement is so good they're they're both thinking so many steps ahead I can't believe Agno threw the weapon away and somehow weaved around the gravity cancel from Rain. Okay, recovery is not enough to do it. Oh, the weapon, the Polly, the weapon throw bounced him into that. Phenomenal stock. You're gonna need our gauntlets masterclass. Here we go. We have seen Rain deliver the pain okay. coming through, but it looks like he's the one receiving it so far. Slowly but surely racking up more damage with the unarmed right here. But you got caught slipping. Okay. Akno finds the recovery, and that's game two. Largest lead that we have seen in the entire oh, yeah. set so far. Oh, and yeah. it is just continuing. He's building on it as well down into Orr. She's keeping him off stage. GC D-Lights here tries to get Ooh, the, the win. It's not going to work. He got the him. One. He got and, him. Uh, that's it. That's a three stock. Now... Quick observation, the maps that Akno left behind, the small Fortress of Lions, Apocalypse, and Demon Island. Akno does not mm -hmm. want large edges, and we're seeing, uh, we could be seeing why Wait, right now. That's stock one. <laughs> that's stock <laughs> one. <laughs> he commits to offstage immediately. Gets the D-Light sidelight as well. Not able to find any follow-up off of it, though. Both of the players, not a lot of follow-ups, but a lot of Wait. openers. The damage is getting built up slowly but surely. Offstage encounter Wait. is very brief. Pause. Rain. Rain! Rain gets it! There it is! One less read is all it takes. The reverse 3 0 is complete. That's right. Okay, swap over to the sword from Munir. Godly slow and steady with this axe. Name of the game is simple. Let's see the offstage. There it is. And that is the set. A 3 0 for Godly. You said it will by three boots Tesco signatures. That's right. Oof, right. what a okay. start from Rain, though. I mean, come on. Very, very healthy in this first stock as well. We do return to neutral, though. Munir, again, boots are glued to the feet. Chase dodge will come through, but Rain scouted that out from a mile away. Looking to make this a two-stock lead. Oh. Oh, oh got him. Oh, he, he got him. He still got him. I'm honestly surprised Munir did it as well. Rain is able to get back onto stage though. I said earlier, whenever Rain has a lead, it usually doesn't end that well for, for the opponent. Ooh. I feel like Rain, just in general, 
is so good at simply performing really, really well. Let's see it. There's a whiff punish coming through. Munir looking for anything right now, but this is red damage. As we say it, the GC okay. stops Sare. Munir finds first strike. Out. Munir, a complete new set of weapons. Rain has not played against in games one through four right now. Let's see, no dodge pattern. Reed, right there, you gotta be kidding me. What a reversal. The full on commitment off the top. And just like that, Rain is down to their tournament stock now. But Rain is not going down without a fight. We see the D lights here coming out. We see the attempt to de sig. Rain's uh, mood is ground. Uh, awesome. Recovery would have been massive. There, trying to look for a jump from Rain. Doesn't bite. They trade weapon throws and trade weapons as well. Hammer versus sword. But Munir's disarmed right now. There's the quick one, two. And it's gauntlets. Munir has no weapon. On the gauntlet oh, now, it's over. gets the nair, gets the D-Light recovery as well, and Holy. just like that, Rain. Or he's not pressing buttons in weird situations where he can get whiff punished. It's just, it's such pensive play, I love it. Oh, but the side signature coming out from Rain, that is actually, I want to say that's going to be the knockout, but Rain, I'm not sure, Godly, incredibly close to touching the wall, I'm not sure if that... It, it, His reign is just all over it right now. A cocktail of hitboxes coming through. That's a reach. All right. Godly down into red at this point. Rain that's able it. to pick up the gauntlets there. And that's going to be the first game. Yet again, I'd like to repeat that thing start so far. But Godly on the Taros using those end lights well and effectively able to deal a ton of damage onto Rain in return. Godly looks flustered right now against Rain, and I, I'm glad that you brought this up at the start of the match. That's gonna be first strike right here. But Rain finds the end light, and just like that, it's a massive damage lead already. Add a tear and an end light onto that, and you're down into red. You're looking to get knocked oh, out no. by a couple of moves, oh, no. but you still have so much work left to do. A second one oh. is gonna disarm you and throw you Stop off stage. Stop there! And he did the hammer hits. combo! He it won did. the tournament with the hammer combo, Polly! Godly is gonna be your champion! Of trial of Laufi coming through. É, não é nenhuma novidade. Não deve ser uma questão muito fácil isso, sinceramente, com a Twitch. Então, tiveram alguma questão técnica aí. Mas, pra quem quer drops, não se preocupa, porque eles vão dar uma próxima data onde esses drops vão estar disponíveis. É isso. Exato, exato. Consigo apenas a história. Exato, exato. Ai! Muito Meu Deus pouco do ali céu. Acabou vacilando. Ainda assim, o Lot continua aproveitando. Eu não tenho que fazer. E start mais uma vez. Pressão, hein? Muitas... Mas assim, eu acredito que deve durar um pouquinho mais do que os códigos comuns, assim, digamos. Já é uma parceria, mas. Vamos ver. É que sai aí o, sei lá, o Nossa, cara, que dá um sig impressionante do Lores aí. Uma companhia. Maluco. Basicamente o processo eles devem ter algum programa, né? Mas não, não é tão fácil só você, ah, gera o código aí. Primeiro é que eles têm que fazer uma coisa que não seja muito previsível, né? Porque se alguém descobrir como é a fórmula, vai só uh, pegar os códigos dele. Também me vem parar com isso. Por um tempo a gente pensou assim, caramba, isso aí parece bem errado. Duvido que eles queiram isso acontecendo. Mas durante um outro tempo a gente ficou assim, caramba. Eles sabem que isso tá rolando, mas nada, é feito há muito tempo. Será que eles só aceitam? E aí, pela primeira vez, a gente vê aí uma movimentação. A confirmação aconteceu. E aí, estoque clean de vantagem pro Typhoon no início do jogo. Possível jogo. Possível cara, não, jogo decisivo. Ih, meu Deus do céu. É, o um jogo decisivo. Opa, mas ó, a situação e... virou. Ele tá recursos. sem recurso, cara, mas o Typhoon arrisca tudo também na jogada. Gente, é hora de mostrar a jogada. Hora do Typhoon ter a última chance dele desarmado. Pega a sua espada. Vai pro tudo ou nada? Vai de side light, tenta botar um ser na ponta, não consegue o neutral light do Kai na pra selar a vitória. Um pouco mais, saque soma mais dano, quer confirmar, Lodge responde, pega mais um arco, momento decisivo e caramba, na mesma condição, qualquer um pode levar. Lodge voltou muito, desfez toda a vantagem do saque, ele tá desarmado, dá um sig, ai, 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 sig, é isso, que virada. Essa confirmação sobre ele. Agora temos ambos na segunda estoque. Uma leve construção de dano ali sobre o Lorde. Opa, mas o saque agora tratou de aumentar. Nem me deixou confirmar e tá guimpado. O saque foi coloca. Difícil, agora foi difícil, hein? Bem próximo de fechar esse jogo. É o 7, na verdade. Será que tem um problema no teclado do Lorde? Vamos ver como vai ser definido. 
Lopes tenta dar um light, o Ush tentou a punição, mas ninguém se acerta. Yush vai pra cima, recobra, desarma o Lopes, faz a troca de arma e pega a Gold Sword. Nossa, e nos hits finais conectam pra garantir. Oh, Tem que se esquivar. Não. O Paul só tá tentando não ser acertado, ele não tá construindo dano. Isso aí não vai ter resultado positivo pra ele. Olha lá, fechado, a galera do 3x0 aí. Então. Vamos ver aí como vai ser esse segundo jogo e com essa nova skin aí, esse novo visual, né? Voltou para pelo menos para ser o Mazuri dessa vez, né? Nossa, o Kaina vai adiante, usa o Troll, vai tirando os recursos e ele não volta! Nossa, que start, mano. O Kaina realmente tem momentos que são muito assim, Mazinho. Agora só mais uma confirmação, vai garantir, tá lá? É isso. É isso. 3 a 0 Kaina. Então, tiveram vários ajustes, né? Até realmente entrar no jogo. Não vimos foi nenhuma Blaster, né? Então, Blaster aqui acho que só na 2 2 Ai, ai, que sequência <risos> poderosa! E o um set nas vidas em tudo! Nossa, cara! Nossa! Me? Finalizou! Olha, vai assim? É, eu achei legal isso, porque a gente ainda tem o Kaina jogando de Teros, a gente vai ter mais Teros que o normal aparecendo hoje, sinceramente. O Taifu jogando muito de Teros, a gente tem o Vitankill agora também com o Machado. Então, assim, por mais que tenha sido um drama inicial, tá sendo bem bacana. Com, com certeza, com certeza, Macau. Nossa, que leitura do Vitankillo nas alturas pra cumprir. Boas conexões do Lores, não desiste, mantém o ritmo intenso. Caramba, que perigo, hein? Nossa, cara. Como assim? Equilibra no dano. Bota o ser decisivo, Lores! Dano de machado, arriscando ali a side sig, não consegue. Lores aproveita, pune, desconta um pouco de dano também. O GP da pontinha não bastou. Mas que sequência, hein? Interminável ali. A PC7 aí. Que Z7 não, que esse nerf aí, cara. Que se pede. Parou ninguém não de jogar da arma que a galera tava curtindo jogar. Realmente. É né? Na 2v2 largou. Ih, rapaz. Pô, mas na 2v2 é, faz quer... menos sentido ainda largar, mas. Realmente, seria de a de O Double Gauntlet continuou, ó, ó, ó. Já, já. Tem chance do meu palpite estar certo. Tem gata de... Não é o Rayman. Uh, uh, opa, é o opa, 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 tá opa, selado o tá 7, lá. é isso? É isso! Vem tranquilo no... O máximo aí de proatividade e ajuda. O oh, Power colocando uma boa vantagem, basicamente uma stop inteira à frente aí. Um start bom, né? Basicamente gente? focado, né? Levou pouquíssimo dano até agora, já levando o Lopes para vermelho na segunda stock. Nossa, e vem a confirmação com o GP, rapaz. Vamos ver, vai tentando fazer esse chegou de Ó, pega a leitura, Power. Olha isso. Yeah. Recobre por pouco. Mas assim, já tem o Lopes dentro dele, enquanto ele tá no começo da stock, sabe? E é um cenário bem similar ao que no jogo passado. É. O Ed começando bem aí de alta em cima do estoque. Vai em busca desse construtor de dano. E de pouco em pouco vai suando esse dano sobre o vento daquilo. Acabou arrancando essa punição. O Vendetilo consegue aproveitar bem disso. E tem a terceira Down Signature pra confirmar esse estoque do S. E que vantagem! Então, eu acho que isso aqui é a parte mais legal, né? Você não vai ver o vento daquilo oh, buscando muito nossa. terno nos fake, sabe? Nossa, nossa, que GP, cara. Ó, oh, boa sequência de saque, pega mais um recobro, ele não para. Ele não para. Realmente não, tá bom. Nossa, meu amigo. Que que cara, é isso? Mas é o, Zil... o cara, o chão tá pegando fogo, é ele ali, rapaz, incendiando tudo. Porque não tem espaço oh, não, não, não tem pode como tem saque, tu sabe que lá, tem saque. Tem saque, tem saque no jogo, cara, não tem. O placar vai estar tá aí pra vocês. Ó, oh, bom controle de luz, já fechando o side closer. Ui, Pega a side sig, é isso! É isso! Isso! Zero... Vamos ver. Vigia do light, dá um sig, conecta, cai na... Ixi, Yus! Se enrolou! Mais dano. Trocou pra espada, Ih, aproveitando o fazendo controle, né? Chega de série, Ih, rapaz. Vai ficando no papo, tá lá! Saque! Vários oponentes que a gente viu o Wills enfrentar hoje, cara, a gente viu só começar a jogar a hit fora, porque não sabia muito o que fazer. E desestruturava completamente a gameplay do oponente. Ih, rapaz! Nossa, bom demais, Saki. 
abusando Alice. da cidade. Bom, Rally Lights, tudo, ganha espaço, recupera o stage rapidamente. Tem um controle muito bom, né? Porque aqui é o que a gente viu do saque, assim, não deixar o oponente aterrissar. O Wills consegue. O saque não consegue controlar o stage do Wills. E olha isso, meu amigo. Tá maluco. Foi ele com uma signature, bom hit do saque, me deu um P. Wills bem confortável agora pra essa vitória. Deixa o pro e tá lá. Novamente, Wills, cai na responde, agora também de true combo. Entra o combo novamente pra ele. Nossa, Nossa trouxe certo. Nossa, que tristeza, cara. Oh, e o pior de tudo ainda é tipo assim... Nossa, Yus vai entrando bem, vai cara, achando, toma cuidado. Vai achando as entradas, o dano vai aos poucos. Ele não treme na base, ele continua sólido. Meu Deus do céu, cara, né? deixa um pouco mais de dano, mas o Yus vai respondendo numa cadência bem maior. Tá difícil uma leitura agora, já pode botar o Yus numa condição de levar a partida. Olha só, Yus é, o Kaina não volta. Tá lá, vamos de quinto jogo. É uma chance remota, é difícil. É muito difícil. Não existe. É difícil até demais, mas Nossa, ele continua. Light. É muito dano sobre ele. O reset tá muito próximo. Tentou na malícia, não conseguiu. Vai ficando sem pulos e o Serzinho pra garantir. Aí na vai encontrar. Aí machuca. E domina o stage agora. Tá... Meu Deus! Desarmando! Quase tirando o Marley Stock e os com dificuldade de aterrissar. Agora desarmado, tomando mais true combo. Oh. Ai, é quinto Cabigo. jogo aí. É quinto yeah, jogo, é rapaziada. Perdeu ele, não vai não? Um light, mais um. Olha, Terceiro. olha, olha, olha só, mais um. Tá perto. Kaina. Nossa, que dodge. Nossa, e perdeu a arma no momento oh. terrível. No Yus! Consegue no finalzinho, garante o título de campeão do Trial of Law.